Hello Capricorn, this is your quick and general reading. This is for the month of July. We're going to change things up a little bit for this month. We're going to do the readings a little bit differently. So you'll see as I uh, go with it. So to begin, we're going to pick your oracle card and let's see what is your theme for the month. So because this is a quick and general reading, Capricorn, I'd like you to know that um, not every single message is going to resonate with you. So take what reson resonates and drop the rest, okay? So the first card we have is memory, followed by refinement. Okay, so maybe what I'm feeling is some things from the past are going to come up. Uh, for you to work through and you're going to refine it. And the refinement is for a better tomorrow, right? A better future. Okay, so let's see what the card brings. So Capricorn, I'm open for private readings. If you're interested in a private session, you can always book a session for yourself. Details are below this video. Let's see. For the month of July, what do we have for Capricorn? Okay, so we have Ten of Swords. Okay. What is happening, Capricorn? We have Ten of Swords. It's almost like you are... I feel like there is a connection between this and this, you know, the, the, anything in the past, you're coming towards the end of suffering, so to speak, the end of like going through what is in the old king of swords. Okay. So you're coming to the end of that cycle and a new beginning is coming. And this has to do with, uh, for some of you, it's, you know, has to do with family there's a very emotional energy coming into this and you are here to refine, you know, your feelings, your emotions to become much more, um, perhaps, you know, elevate your consciousness, so to speak. Okay. Let's get some clarifiers for you for 10 of sorts. This is for Capricorn. You know, Capricorn, I feel like because you are, this has come up for you. Uh, it may be important that you do some shadow work. So on how to do shadow work, you can check out my other channel, Musings from the Past, Present and Future. The link is down below this video, okay? Go check it out. I have videos about inner parenting, inner child, shadow work and so on. Oh, wow. Okay. So to clarify, this definitely emotional stuff because we have the moon and... I feel also, you know, you are, you're working on the duality of things, you know, like trying to have a different perspective of what went on. So for example, if you had, you know, a certain memory about a person in your family and that memory has been haunting you or that memory has been traumatizing you, um, it seems as if it is now time for you to work through that particular trauma or that particular pain. It may not be a big trauma, but it could be a pain that impacted you and it perhaps even impacted your self-esteem. So the moon energy here um, is showing that you may not be very aware of the pain, but because you're going through a period of refinement, it's as though the month of July is showing this to you where you will need to work through it because it could be a big block to what you want to create for a better future. So it may be very, very important for you to do this. All right. And I feel that um, the person involved, right, uh, could be, you know, involved with that particular past experience, could be um, a person of questionable integrity um, that, maybe kept you thinking about it for a while and you were unsure because this person could be a person of authority and but you were not sure whether they were coming from integrity or not however it seems to be 
as if it is now coming up and showing you much more clearly that there is a very high chance that this person was not coming from a position of integrity. And this is something that you um, do need to work through in terms of your own pain, your own trauma, and not to doubt yourself. I feel like, you know, a part of you knows this, but you did not trust how you were feeling about it, or you did not trust your own intuition, right? And then we have the world. So you're bringing closure to this situation. You definitely bring closure, which is good. But at the same time, I feel like there is a gap between here and here. Let's see what else. What else does Capricorn need to know with regards to this? What else does Capricorn need to know? Okay. So, ah, okay. So the King of Pentacles represents the energies of discipline, reliability. So the gap, right, from moving, um, go deeper within yourself and to work through whatever past trauma that you may have um, pertaining to a person of authority, a person that you thought had integrity, but, you know, on hindsight, now that you are much more mature emotionally, psychologically, you realize that, oh my God, you know, this person was abusing his or her own power, which caused me to spiral, right? And then the energy of King of Pentacles is required for you to get onto the healing path. So from to get from here to here, you do need the King of Pentacles. And the energy of King of Pentacles is about discipline. So the discipline to work through some of the past trauma that you have experienced, the discipline to work through them and not to be afraid, not to run away from them. Uh, there could be a habit of you hiding. So if you have been hiding, then obviously it doesn't serve you. And, you know, obviously it's not going to um, take you where you want to go in life. Okay. It could be a big stumbling block. All right. Oh, okay. So Capricorn, let's see. What else do you need to know for the month of July? What is it that you need to work on? The emperor. This is a very nice energy, very majestic. This is about self-leadership. It's interesting that this has come up because we just had the king of pentacles. Um, and, you know, in this reading, the energy tells you that you do need the discipline. You do need to be a reliable <clears throat> source for yourself in order to work through some of the emotional uh, past trauma and then you come out strong with the emperor energy the emperor is self-leadership self-discipline what else does capricorn need to know and then we have three of pentacles so this is about collaborating it's about teamwork so i feel like in working through this issue that you may have Teamwork could also be working with a therapist, working with people, maybe you have a group of friends who are very supportive of your growth, of your development. Uh, they can help you, right, with moving through these pain and trauma. Um, or you can seek professional help. A teamwork is necessary. What this energy tells us is that you that it is much easier to work through um, the pain, the trauma, if you work with people. Right, And don't go at it alone because it can be very challenging. And if you do not have a mirror to see clearly, then it gets harder. Let's get some clarifiers for this set of cards here. The Emperor and the King of Pentacles. What else does Capricorn need to know? Can we have a strong, strongest message for Capricorn here? Okay. Okay, this is good. Um, we have Page of Pentacles, and that is that when you when you have the self leadership and you have the self discipline and you work in a team, you will be able to manifest what is it that you desire in your life, right? And then justice comes into play. You get rewarded for what you put in. You see results much more quickly because the stumbling blocks in your life thus far is the past memory that's been holding you back. 
and you're not able to move forward. See, we have three of pentacles again. So this is about teamwork. This, this is an emphasis on how you cannot go at it alone, no matter how independent you are, you do need to work with people. Then you, they will be able to assist you and then justice is served and then the hermit. This is an energy of healing, taking time alone. And when you go through this whole process, you're going to come up strong. I feel like July is a powerful month for you, Capricorn. Right, It's a very powerfully healing month for you. What else does Capricorn need to know? What else does a Capricorn need to know? So if this message resonates with you so far, Capricorn, please give me a like, comment below, subscribe to my channel. Okay. Four of Cups, interesting. Four of Cups together with Eight of Swords. All right. So there's a certain, um, maybe, you know, what I'm feeling also, there is a struggle with, um, you almost feel like you're numb. You know, you're numb to this pain. And you may not want to look at it. <laughs> You know, despite what has been shared with you, it's interesting that these two cards have come up. You know, a, a part of you is like pulling back and saying, you know, you know what? I'm not going to, you know, listen to this uh, reader. This reader is telling me things that I don't want to listen to. But then these two cards popped up. It's telling you that you're feeling a little bit numb, right? For some of you, this may resonate. And that you have a fear. You are afraid that they're not able to heal. You're afraid to confront the past. You're afraid to look at, Whatever, you know, that has happened in your life, you feel like you are not able to combat it or you feel there is no need to combat it, which is an issue if you feel that way because it means that it's going to be an even bigger block in the future. So let's see. What else? Can we have clarifiers? Strongest message here for Capricorn. We would like to clarify this message, please. Ooh. This did not fall out. Let's get. It's a very powerfully healing, powerfully healing month for you, Capricorn. So I would say to take advantage of it because it will take you, look at this, it will take you much further. So the Hierophant energy comes in and is telling you that there is either seek the help of a teacher or even your own higher self, because there is a reason why it is a very powerfully healing month for you, because there is growth. Your spiritual growth and refinement of spiritual growth can only come in if you address these. So you may be going back and forth like, okay, you know, I should do this. Or maybe I don't have to, maybe I should do this. Maybe I don't have to. So you've been going back and forth, but this card is telling you the Hierophant is stepping up it's coming into the picture, is telling you that it is a necessary process and a hierophant signifies spiritual growth, spiritual development. If you truly want to grow as a person, this is the direction that you need to take. It is important to take it, okay? Now let's have some inspiring message now for Capricorn. What else does Capricorn need to know? Can we have an inspiring message? Or Capricorn. Okay, one more shuffle and I'll take it from the top. And we have here, belief in yourself. See yourself doing well and you will. Look at that. Words of reassurance for you. Know that it will be okay. You just have to work through it. Your higher self is truly, guide, truly guiding you in the, in the process, Capricorn. One more. Can we have one more inspiring message for Capricorn? Whoa. Lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found fairy, sometimes she can help us find things 
we never even realized were lost. I feel like this message is about a part of you that was lost and you're finding it back. Maybe for some of you, it could be the little items that you lost, like you lost a pet, you lost, you know, something and you find it back. But in the big message is you, you did lose part of yourself, right? Um, through the pain, through, you know, trauma, big or small. And that missing link is what will... You know, you, you need to get it back in order to make that true connection back up, you know, that ladder of spiritual evolution, okay? This is a powerful read for you, Capricorn. I wish you well. That's all I, I have for you. Um, this is for the month of July, so hang in there. I will be doing more readings um, to give you got more guidance as we move through the month. So um, take care and God bless.